Hello butterflies. For the past two days of my life, I have been looking at Jaclyn Hill cosmetics under high powered microscopes. I have been swatching them um, for bacterial cultures and creating cultures to look for yeast. I've had an exhausting two days and I am finally at the point where I'm starting to edit. I'm also going to ask for a bit of help because of what I have found and hope that somebody else can reach out and like give second set of eyes to these. So again, I am doing this to the best of my ability in a sterilized environment. This is not an aseptic environment. I have a Bunsen burner in my bedroom. I have an incubator in my laundry room. Um, I use these microscopes and these things for my work, for my personal pleasure, for school, et cetera, et cetera. And although I feel that I have a very good knowledge base of these things and of these topics, I am not a veterinarian. I am not a forensic hair analyst. And I believe that the hairs that I found are not all synthetic. I found some that seem to be synthetic, but I do believe that I found some that came from an animal. And this is very concerning to me because <laughs> many reasons. But again, I don't think that fear mongering is okay. I don't think that unsubstantiated claims are okay. And before I make those claims, I would like to speak to a professional or actually send these off for like analysis so that somebody can confirm what kind of an animal they came from. Now, again, I am using a sterilized environment to the best of my ability. I take everyone through that, why I'm using Bunsen burners, how I'm using isopropyl alcohol, kind of like the aseptic procedures that I'm using that I also use in an actual laboratory, but in my home, I try to replicate as well as I can. Now at home, I do own cats. Uh, the hairs that I looked at do not seem to be cat hair. Again, I literally pulled these out of the lipsticks and I have video of me opening them all on camera. Um, and I actually took my cat hair, and again, it's all part of this video, I looked at the cat hair under the microscope and compared it to what came off of the lipsticks. Again, I don't wanna make claims that are unsubstantiated. To me, they look like some sort of mouse hair or some sort of rat hair. Again, I do not look at hairs all day. I do not know fibers. You wanna to talk to me about bacteria, you wanna to talk to me about acne, skincare, even nutrition, I'm a girl. But <laughs> I am not a forensic hair expert. If you are in the Bay Area, if you know a veterinarian, if you know someone who deals with hairs and fibers, or if you know a place that I can actually send these out to confirm what I think that they are, please let me know. Because again, if you look at statistics and probability, stuff happens all the time, but I want to do as best as I can to make sure that I am controlling all of my variables and that I am showing processes and sharing information that will overall be truthful and be beneficial and actionable. And again, if I'm making claims that are not substantiated, that defeats the purpose. Um, I also found some irregularities on the lipsticks themselves. When I looked at them, they did not look very good. I, of course, opened them for the first time on camera. <laughs> All of this is done on camera and I actually have 22 hours of footage that I am knee deep in editing. I want to remind you that 22 hours did not, does not mean that it's done in 22 hours. It means that I have to edit it, splice it, cut it, put captions, titles, explain things, export it, render it, then upload it. And I'm exhausted. Um, my computer's running out of memory. <laughs> it did this like two years ago and I'm gonna try to back it up so that nothing gets lost or anything happens. Um, it's a frustrating experience and I'm struggling because I also have day-to-day -day life things that I'm doing, but I'm not complaining. Um, I love science, I love the biology of beauty. I love the chemistry of cosmetics. Um, that's something that I study as well as that I have a personal passion for. And this kind of aligns with that, but because of what I've found, I'm a little bit nervous. I also looked at only one of the lipsticks seemed to have chunks or pieces in it. I found none of the balls that other people did. Um, and again, I don't wanna to jump to conclusions, but this appears to be metal. I could pick it up with a magnet. I put it in the microwave. <laughs> well, I've literally got like 30 minutes of footage of me microwaving lipstick swatches. Um, none of those sparked though. So that's very interesting. And again, I did not find any plastic pieces unless I completely missed something. And again, I show you the technique that I use to create these uh, bacterial cultures. I basically am using Petri dishes to try to grow bacteria and fungus to see if there's anything on these products. Because again, I have an incubator in my uh, laundry room. Um, but those are going to take a couple more days to come back. And again, I'm not here to make claims. I also want to make it very clear. This is not Jacqueline Hill's fault. This is not her fault. This is the lab's fault. This is Jacqueline's responsibility 
and I do believe that she either gave someone refunds or recalled them. I think that's necessary. But this is also, I know that cancel culture is very evident and that's why I <laughs> didn't do this sooner. Um, I think it's dangerous to make those kind of claims and for people to attack a certain person because of that. The lab is at fault and they should be audited or shut down. And again, there's a lot that goes into the business of beauty that if you're not working in it or if you're not absorbed in it or knee deep in it because you have a passion or you've created your own line or you're working on something or you literally work there or have researched this, a lot of people don't know. And what I found concerns me, but I'm hoping to reach out to people who know more than I do to make sure that as I continue editing these videos that other people are able to take a look at some of these things that I found and give a little bit of insight. So thank you for being patient. Um, please send emotional support for both my poor laptop and its hard drive as well as myself. Um, personal life has been a little bit of a struggle bus with my grandma and with some other stuff that I'm going through. So. I wanted to let you know that I appreciate you. I'm still trying to post my daily videos. I don't know how that's going to go. But I believe in understanding the science behind the beauty. And I believe that when we get inspired by some of these things, um, it gets people to fear science a little bit less or to understand that chemicals can be beneficial for us and healthy for us because chemicals are what make up like natural products, you know? Um, and just get consumers to be a little bit more conscious. So veterinarians hit me up anyone else who has insights for this please let me know and again I take you through my sterilization techniques I take you through everything I'm doing I have control sets of regular lipsticks that I'm controlling um, and comparing against the Jaclyn Hill ones and guess what regular lipsticks seem to have some deformities too that we're probably just not looking closely enough at so I don't think this widespread panic is okay but what really concerns me are these hairs that do not look synthetic like I can say 99.9% .9 sure they are not synthetic and then I'm like 98% sure that they are rat or mice hairs but I want someone else to look at this before I make that kind of a claim um, hope you're having a great day I appreciate any insight and if you could let me know do you literally want a five-hour video or should we break this down into pieces or have the most important pieces in one and then like techniques and science-based stuff in the others please let me know because not gonna lie, I'm kinda struggling. I'm struggling this week. I feel good about it. And I'm getting a little bit of sun. And of course, I have my mineral SPF. I love you beautiful butterflies. Hope you're having a great day. And veterinarians, I hope to hear from you soon. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.